Greetings everybody, this is Stormy with the capital Z. Welcome to another Warcraft 3 audio commentary. So today we got a really special matchup over here. We got two human players who are playing off race. I do believe they were playing random. And uh, so introducing the players, this is Tu, TH triple O, who is spawning as the blue orc. He will be, okay, the, the, the blue, yep, he's the blue. He will be playing up against Infi, who who has a uh, spawn as undead. It's a close spawn and uh, gonna be really interesting how this match fares uh, to see two human players go uh, out at each other doing a uh, random. So we got the altar coming in for the undead player. He's gonna go for DK. This is uh, the crypt first build order of course and there we've got the hero for the orc player he's gonna go for some scouting he is going to go for some scouting and uh, I'm gonna go after that uh, ogre magi perhaps or no just gonna pick up an item no he's gonna go for the ogre magi he's slowly selling off his TP buying himself the circlet of course uh, hatch 1.29 has been announced it is out on PTR and uh, both of the players surprisingly uh, not not scouting out each other actually that's rather surprising rather rather surprising they're going for that particular same camp on each of their sides that is Infi going for this camp on his side of the map and uh, Thu going for the same one getting himself that uh, nice nice little uh, wand watcher wand I'm gonna be giving him some crucial information, but I wouldn't say the same if I had to consider the spawning locations of both of the players since they're not even going to go over there unless until they do want an item. So that's not going to give be giving them that much advantage as both of the players have uh, secured the watch award. Or player uh, playing rather aggressively, creeping rather aggressively if you ask me, the hero is down to so low hit points and uh, it can easily be just uh, like one shot coiled or something and it's still falling down in hit points. Uh, it just went up in hit points a bit, okay, it got himself a nice little ring of regeneration that's gonna be increasing the regeneration a bit by two to be... Uh, I hope it's recording. I really hope. Yep, it's recording. I misclicked somewhere. Uh, right after patch 1.29 PTR, well, right after I installed it, it kind of messed up that widescreen resolution of mine. So yeah, we're gonna be having this. Uh, we're gonna have be having this as a little problem for some time. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it'll be solved once 1.29 is out. So. And that player creeping out this little camp over here, none of the players, uh, I do believe the old player has scouted out, old player probably did see the under player's blight when he went for the scouting over here, under player currently definitely does not have any idea that the old player is right beside him, uh, he, he would sooner than later and seems to me like he's going for the red camp, okay, that's a rather surprising move, both of the players rather heavily creeping, Rather than going for any kind of scouting or any kind of uh, engagement early on. So, or player re nearly reaching level 3 with that uh, Blade Master. Blade Master is stacked up, and uh, if you have to see the DK, DK is also very, very well stacked up. He's got himself this nice little belt of giant ring of regeneration and the circlet, of course. Or player having two claws of attack plus six. Circlet of Nobility, Slipper of Agility, Rings of Protection, and the Ring of Regeneration, of course. We got Hall of uh, Dead coming in for the Undead player. He is a bit late in the tech, as we can see. Orc player has already reached uh, level, uh, I mean, tier 2. And uh, Undead player now returning back to the base. Obviously, both of the players are not playing their natural game, their natural race which is uh, mainly human, although Thu, uh, Thu had played a little Org and a little Night Elf as well, apart from just being human, he also had the tendency of playing other races, at times random, we had seen that some time ago, like, I don't know, 5 years, maybe more than that, 
Warcraft is a really old game at this point. And the player going in for an engagement, he's gonna go for an assault rather, and uh, there comes the Shadow Hunter. Shadow Hunter gonna be instrumental over here in taking out the fiends using that hex ability. Uh, and the player gonna be hitting a little on that beast tree and go gonna go in there. Uh, definitely wants to go after the after the burrows. I was I was about to say moon wells, but no, orc players don't have moon wells. And uh, two gonna be repairing it. Here comes the orc player, and he's gonna try and deal some damage on the fiend. And the player will be able to escape away safely using the TP. That was the start of TP, so. I'll be uh, that I don't know if you're gonna count it as a loss or not, but you got one burrow. You did manage to food block the orc player, and uh, that can be instrumental. An orc player coming in and uh, is he gonna do some damage? No, definitely do not want to do it right away. Uh, he only has one wind walk now. Uh, earlier, just a bit ago, he didn't have any wind walk. Uh, I mean, mana for the wind walk. He's gonna go after the acolyte. Is is he going for what I think he's going? Does he have? Does he have? No, that's Lord of Necromancy. No, 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 no. He's definitely not going for what I thought he was going for. He went in there with an acolyte. I thought he was going for a tower rush or something. And okay, he is going for a tower rush. Human player, once a human player, always a human player. He's gonna go for a tower rush over the orc player and uh, orc player uh, realizing that put putting in a watchtower. Uh, watchtower is going to be useful in uh, defending that base and uh, he's got like what six fiends there goes the sacrificial skull blight has been placed and uh, the only thing left to do is bring in an acolyte and plant the ziggurat uh, or player should be able to take out the ziggurat while it's, it's under construction but under player is looking really strong or player was food blocked and uh, that food block moment that little time in which the old player was food blocked is exactly what is playing in uh, to this game right now. There comes a nice little obsidian statue, gonna be healing away the undead units over there. Old player coming in, damaging the uh, undead player's units, and oh, nice little nuke down of that grunt. He's gonna go for another snipe, and uh, you can see there is so much damage on the grunts. The ziggurats are coming up. And uh, all the under player needs to do is just, he just needs to stall the time over here. He needs to stall the time until those uh, ziggurats come up. Once the spirit towers are up, I mean, this is definitely GG. Once a human player, always a human player. And he's going to take out the raider and uh, things are looking really bad for two. I wouldn't count out the possibility of coming back in this game. We have seen uh, si such situations even when the orc player had lost completely everything. And the blight expanding because of that ziggurat and the second ziggurat will be up sooner than later. He's gonna go for Nerubian Tower. Uh, I'm not sure. Do Nerubian Towers build faster than Spirit Towers? I don't know. Somebody somebody comment com, com, somebody comment below. Whoever knows this comment below. I need to know that. Nerubian Towers, do, do they build faster than uh, Spirit Towers? Uh, because the Undead player is going for Nerubian Towers. They're obviously gonna be giving the, the Orc player, I mean the Undead player, that uh, Spirit that uh slow damage and uh oh he's gonna try and take out the fiend he did manage to take out one fiend and uh he's got three obstinate statues right now there goes a nice little coil taking down that uh spirit walker one more spirit walker coming into the fray spirit walker transforming itself into the normal form and uh under player still rolling infi is rolling uh i, I had actually uh, tried doing a game with Infi playing as Undead earlier and he was so terrible in that game. I wouldn't say the same in this one. He's playing humanish. I would definitely say that but he is doing really well and uh, okay that was a that was a bad move over there by two. He could have kept the demolisher behind and just keep on attacking the Nerubian towers but no he he brought it in. I think it was rallied on the hero and uh, that exactly cost him. Uh, he also got himself a wish doctor uh, Wish Doctor, I guess for the healing wards, uh, static wards, yeah, I guess they could be helpful. They could definitely be helpful in any uh, situations like this. And he's gonna go get the second demolisher, but uh, I mean, it's gonna be too little too late. So, uh, and uh, there's, a, there's, a there's a sentry ward over there. That's a, the sentry ward is by the old clear, the troll. The troll Witch Doctor placed that. Gonna be giving him vision, and I guess he's also gonna be giving him the vision on the burrowed creep. Fiends and 
and that player looking really strong or player uh surviving at this point and uh, yeah this is what i was talking about uh or player should have done this same thing with the first demolisher he would had uh, not been in uh, this bad of a condition uh, he would had been a, in a bad condition definitely but not this bad and oh my infi is rolling he just coiled uh, the coiled a spirit walker to death when it was in ethereal form and uh, ethereal form uh, they do take more damage from the spells and magic attacks don't they i think they do i don't exactly remember do, does it work as same as banish somebody comment below i mean i mean i've been casting this game since so long i've been playing this game since so long but still i have so many questions oh uh, this game is so fun uh infi is doing so so well and oh no is the tower gonna go down the acolyte is repairing it and uh or player trying to re regenerate his uh well basically rejuvenate his army and uh he's gonna go after the lich uh death knight still has two more two more death coils up his uh sleeve oh my goodness that was so deadly and two lives again two leaves the game giving the victory to infi and oh that last moment was so devastating coil noah i mean infi definitely felt the power of an undead player while playing that and he definitely i'm pretty sure he definitely enjoyed that as much as we enjoyed seeing him deliver that death coil frost noah just gonna click on these a bit you guys can have a look what do we have what do we have units killed uh or player killed more number of units units produced under player had more number of units produced building raise that don't really matter heroes under they actually got up to level four level two on the lich <coughs> excuse me blade master was level three and shadow hunter was just level one so heroes killed yeah that that last little death coil Frost Nova was the only hero kill that we had in the game and that was so satisfying to look at. Items obtained or cleared obviously with the Blade Master who can freely roam around the map like as much as he wants to. Resources just about the same, nothing different. Nothing much different, just uh, that the under player got a little more wood. Probably because uh, He's an undead player and those ghouls get doubled lumber and uh, peons, I mean, you, I mean, at times over player, well, I can't really comment much on, on that. I mean, it's not necessary that all races require the equal amount of lumber and all. Hope you guys enjoyed this really nice little game and uh, that's it, I guess. Z out. Bye-bye.